Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over the HTML5 elements article and aside. And I've got a blank page started up here. I've got the doc type definition, HTML tag, I've got a head section. My head section contains the character encoding meta, contains a title for the page, meta description, meta keywords, and I'm using an external style sheet here, but my goal is not to really go over styles. Um, the body of my page, I've got a container, and I want to start to put in some other elements here. I'm going to go ahead and create an H group, and I'll have an H1 in there for uh, HTML5 elements, and an H2 for article and a side. Excellent. Okay, so first thing, I'll just go ahead and write out a set of article tags. Now, the simplest way to think about an article is probably just to think about a magazine article, okay? Or for internet, um, think about a blog post, okay? So a blog post is kind of like a magazine article, and you would use the article tag to contain a blog post. But I don't want you to get too focused on that because you can use an article for all kinds of things. Don't th associate the word article with magazine article. Okay, um, let's go ahead and put a little bit more information in here. I'm going to do a headline two within my article. And I'm going to put a little paragraph in here too. There we go. So, in the web, you know, on, on the web, this is probably where you, use, where you would use it most. But an article could simply be a collection of products that are on clearance. Okay, uh, an article could be a, bi a biography about an employee at your company. So, think of an article as an independent segment of your page that. In theory, someone might want to copy and put onto some other page. Um, it's uh, so it's possible that someone's going to want a blog post on another page. So the blog post would be an article. It's also possible, though, that someone might want an individual comment on a blog post on another page. Therefore, a comment for a blog post would be an article. And it's also possible that somebody might want a particular product or a group of products that are on clearance or on special to be put onto a separate web page. So that would also be an article. An article is an independent portion of a page that is self-contained and could be reproduced within that article somewhere else and be completely independent. So kind of like an article of clothing is an individual item that can be used by multiple people or individually or with a group. So that's how I want you to think about as an article. So there's my article, and I happen to have a headline and a paragraph within my article. I'm going to do another article. Okay. The aside element is going to work hand in hand with an article. In fact, let me go ahead and close off my article there. Okay, so I've got my opening article tag, my closing article tag. Within that, I've got a headline too, and now an aside. An aside is, you see these a lot in magazines, by the way, but an aside would be information off to the side. It's, it's tangentially re related to the article topic. Um, let's see if I can't find you a quick example. Here we go. I just went out to Google Images real quick and I found a picture of a magazine article. So here's a magazine article and in fact if you can kind of see here um, there could be a couple articles on here depending on how it's structured. I haven't taken the time to actually read it. But these first two columns, actually I take it back, these first three, even though this has a heading, so we have a three column article. But you see this pull quote Okay, it's called a pull quote or a block quote. This would be a good example of an aside. Okay, so it's 
related to the article, but it's not essential. It's simply a quote from the article. So this would be a good example of an aside to that particular article. Um, and of course, they've got a headline group up here also. So there's an example of a side. Let me see. Let me just back out again here. And let me just kind of glance through these article pictures. See if another one jumps out at me. Get the big picture here. Here we go. Here's another example. So here's another article and this little chunk right here on uh, Toby Kolstad, that would be a good example of an aside to an article. There's a chance this little footnote text down here, this also might make a good aside, depending on how they wanted to structure it. So those are asides to articles. So back over to my editor. So I'm going to have an aside in here. Um, Ooh, that's actually what I meant to put for my article. I already kind of typed this up. So let me just cut that real quick. Here's my aside text. I even have a little headline for it. There we go. That's my aside text. My aside has its own headline and it's got its own paragraph and then I'm going to go ahead and plug in a paragraph. There we go. So now I have two articles on my web page. I have an article about the article element, and this is something that could potentially be reused on another page, another website. The complete article has its own headline and text content, and it could also have images and other things. Here's another article that has, its, has an aside. This article has its own headline. This article also has an aside of some extra information, and that aside also has its own headline. So this article on the aside element could be reused completely on some other web page or website. Let me go ahead and save this and just run this in the browser. There we go. And I've already done a little CSS formatting just so we can kind of see how it looks. But basically, I've got my container styled and I've got my various elements. Now I see I'm getting a lot of centered text, which I wasn't expecting, so let me jump over real quick. I may have forgotten to close something properly. And sure enough, I forgot to close out my H group. There we go. So my H group, let me head back over to my browser and refresh. There we go. So that's a little bit better looking. So this is an example of an article and an article with an aside.